Hi, Dawn Lewis here with an unboxing video for you. And this is a little exciting because it's ultra new. It's my first ultra new order. It arrived so fast and we are going to open it and see all the goodies inside. I'm so excited to open this puzzle. It's really hard. The box is very tough. Ooh. Oh, look, 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 look. It smells like polymer. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so I might move my laptop and let's, let's get this stuff out on the desk. Oh, no, maybe I won't put it out on the desk. Maybe I'll just unpack it neatly from the box. So Alter New is a brand new brand for my store. Very excited to be bringing it to Australia. Uh, if you're looking for Alter New with me in Australia, you can find it at dawnlewis.com.au and I'll link to everything below. Look at these inks. Oh my goodness. So these are the ink, mini ink cubes from Alter New. This is Shades of Purple, which includes Midnight Violet, Midnight Violet, Deep Iris, Lavender Fields and Soft Lilac. So Alter New is so famous for their layered stamps, especially those stunning florals. And so I thought I would get some of their inks in to see. Woohoo! Oh, more inks! Oh, all the inks are on the top. Okay, this one's called Cherry Blossom. It includes Razzleberry, Rubellite, Pink Alicious, and Pink Diamond. Ooh, yum. Oh, like they sound good enough to eat. Oh, now what have we got? Oh, reds. Oh, my favorite. This combo is called Red Sunset. It includes Velvet, Crimson, Rouge and blush. I always thought they were the same thing. Apparently not. So if you want to multi-stamp your reds, got you covered there. Oh yay! This set is called Green Valley. It has Mountain Pine, Shadow Creek, Grassfield, and Firefly. This there are they have quite a few greens. I thought this was a good leaf green, so that's why I got this one in. Oh, there's a couple more down the side of the box. Ooh. All right, we have yellow. Not usually a yellow person, but I'm liking this combo in real life. It's really, really nice. So we have in this, it's called Pocket Full of Sunshine, Honey Drizzle, Maple Yellow, Fresh Lemon, and Citrus Burst. So that's a beautiful yellow combo. Ooh, love it. Now, if you're looking and going, oh, I'd like to see that a bit more, pause the video, have a really good look. Absolutely, and everything's listed over on the website. Well. It'll be listed when you see this video. I don't know how fast it's going to sell out. I've never had Alter New before. I'm so excited. All right. This one is kind of an orangey set. It's called Warm and Cozy. I love that. Fire Brick, Autumn Blaze, Orange Cream, and Sunkissed are the names of these colors. So we might come across a few more. I don't know um, where they are in the box. Let's see. What else have we got? Oh, there's so many things. Oh, my God. Oh, these are coming out of the box at random. I, I'm, I haven't sorted these. I've, you saw me open this box. This is called Round Maze. Oh my goodness! It's a beautiful die set. Look at that. Oh wow! 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 That would be so fun to stack a bunch of those up and put some beads in there and make like a rolly game. I'm just measuring it. It is. Just it's around about just shy of nine centimeters in diameter. So what's that in inches? Three and a half inches. Oh, it is so cool. I really, really like that. It's called Round Maze. Now, if you're looking at something you're going, oh, I've always wanted this thing from Alter New. Oh, she hasn't got it. I take pre-orders. You can go to my pre-order form. I'll put a link to it below. There's a little box for Alter New up towards the top. Tell me what you would like ordered in and I would be delighted to order it in for you. So I love getting these things in because international shipping is insane. So I pay the international shipping and you guys get to pay Australian postage. All right, we've got this beautiful set. Oh my goodness, that's nice. This die says hang in there. It's a great size it would fill a card so if you've got someone who's really doing it tough and you want to make a card of encouragement for them hang in there i think that says a lot for a lot of different occasions oh okay this is gorgeous i saw jennifer mcguire use this one and loved it it is it's on the front not on the back where's the name starry flowers that's what it is i'm going to start looking at the names when i pick them up 
so we so I don't keep flipping them around. This one is called Starry Flowers. It has two huge sprigs of flowers that you can color, watercolor, just stamp in colored ink instead of black ink. You don't have to color everything in. And then some beautiful sentiments to go with it. Thinking of you during this difficult time, praying for you, um, hope, very sorry for your loss, complete recovery, I'm here for you. Uh, may the, the most merciful grant you patience. Wow, now I know why Jennifer liked this set so much. Yes, the flowers are beautiful. Those sentiments are heartfelt and amazing. Wow, nice work, Altenu. Needlework motif. This is a big one. This is a six by eight set. I like this one. I think I think this one made Jennifer's my favorite crafty things stamp set. Yes, the needlework motifs. Stunning. I teach embroidery. I love embroidery. Embroidery makes me so happy. It's just so nice. The sound of thread pulling through fabric. But if you're not into that, you can stamp it instead. And all these amazing sentiments. And I know that that was what made them. Hello. Stay awesome. Hugs and kisses. Can't wait to see you. So thankful for you. Welcome to the family. Thank you. You rock. Miss you always. Warm hugs. What a beautiful blessing you are to me. Oh, I like that. I appreciate everything you do. To the most wonderful friend, congratulations, lots of love and sending. <gasps> wow, I want all of these. You guys get first dibs, but one day I will have all of these. This one I got in specifically because I really like the look of it and I did buy one for myself. It's called Vintage Teacup. Um, anyone who's been following me for a while knows that I love tea. I really, I'm very fond of tea. It's a beautiful ritual. I really like tea. And this is a layering stamp set with tea. I have quite a few tea things in my shop. And occasionally I find people who are just as in love with tea as I am. But this one is absolutely gorgeous. Actually, I'm going to show it on this side. Oh, that's a bit better. I don't have to lean around it. So we've got the layering teacup. Uh, we've got uh, polka dots that can go on the saucer as well as on the cup. Um, a cup of thanks. No one stacks up to you. You are my cup of tea. Ooh, whoa, I like that. Life is like a teacup to be filled to the brim and enjoyed with friends. Yes. We oolong together. Oh, hello, puns. You plus me plus tea equals carefree tea time. Join me for a cuppa. <gasps> How Australian of you all to new. Oh, I love it. Tea warms the heart and strengthens the soul. So one is in the shop. One is for me. Do I plan on making a video with this? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I have a big plan to send out tons of cards. So my week between Christmas and New Year will be spent making lots of cards to send to my friends to remind them that they are incredibly awesome. So vintage teacup. So I'm, I'm going to try and keep this short, but I don't know how I'm possibly going to do that. So this one is called Focus on You. It's a six by four stamp set. We've got five leafy florally sprigs and sentiments focus on you you are capable of amazing things old friends are the best antiques i'm just a phone call away so this is a great one to let someone know that you're thinking of them we look great with emboss resist i think Ooh, layering didn't look i promised i was going to look what's it called life is awesome ho oh, ho i think i'm going to hold it here life is awesome big layering stamp set look at this look and it's all separated out with lines. And look, look what it makes. <gasps> look at these beautiful flowers. Oh my goodness. And these would be beautiful with some of these alternate um, little mini ink cubes. But use what you've got. Try it out. First time I did layering stamps, I found an accidentally a great combo. The second one I did not so good. But you know what? Make yourself a little reference. And in here, there's a little referency bookie thingy. Oh. So good. So that one's life is awesome. Oh, okay. This, this I love. So this is Altenew City Scene Stencil. You've got two city skylines here and uh, you can layer them up. They've illustrated on the back. So you can kind of shift them over and layer them up and create a city skyline. So if you've got superhero sets if you have got like someone's moving to a new city or a new town or a new job in the city i think that this would actually get quite a workout i bought one of these for myself a while ago um and so i got it into the shop i'm going to try and incorporate i don't know how i'm going to incorporate it into vintage teacup i'll give it a go so i've got that one now we're going to a six by eight called pinstripe this is a big 
huge six by six background stamp with a diagonal pinstripe. So you could stamp it in one direction. You could also then turn around, stamp it in the other and get a cross hat. That would be kind of cool. There's also these enormous dots down the bottom and a thank you and hello. So it's a great basic set and you're going to cover a lot of area with that. Jennifer McGuire's done some excellent videos using this and um, that's why it's one of the reasons why I got this in because it really is it's subtle, it's soft, it looks great tone on tone, it looks good done with clear embossing powder. Uh, there's a lot of ways that you can make this stand out or blend into the background, fill some space but not make it too busy. Although never wear a design like that on television because it flares. Just saying. So much fun. All right, a 6x8 set called Perfectly Perfect. So I've ordered in two of these. One of these is going out in a pre order. I'm very excited to send that one home. Stunning flowers. These are so pretty. They're like, they're kind of like magnolias, but the centers are a little bit different, but they're beautiful very sketchy painterly kind of flowers it's not a layering set but you could use any coloring medium in here i would use copics or pencils uh you could use watercolors watercolor markers distress crowns distress markers distress inks embossed resist like there's so much you could do with this or stamp them with colored inks and do a really cool stamped all over outline don't color them in at all so many choices our sentiments include perfectly perfect just the way you are and you are so you are perfectly perfect just the way you are so six by four love it all right leaf canopy this is another one of jennifer's favorite ones that she put in and i can see why you've got an outline of this beautiful leaf you've got two leaf patterns an outline and a solid in both so you could stamp the solid with a color and then stamp the outline with say a darker color or in or with just you know straight up black the sentiments in here sending lots of love congratulations you are the best so happy for you hello life is better with friends i agree uh stay awesome my friend oh i could get some use out of that so happy i have finally found you thinking of you thank you so very much for all the thoughtful things you do a special note of thanks to you so someone was asking me about little thin sentiment strip bits Alton New does that really, really, really well. And so, yes, you've got these bold images, but there are tons of sentiments in here. You can pair them with big word dies, and I've got some word dies too. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> ooh, ooh, this is petite. This is not what I was expecting. Okay, this is the Fine Frames Circle Die. So this is super, I don't know if you can see, they can see the lines. This is super, super petite. It is one die. It cuts out one thing, but all these pieces fall apart and create these super, super, super thin circle dies. So it's just a single die. Oh, wow. The biggest one is two and a half inches and the smallest one is one inch. And then there are all these little gradients inside. So it's just under six and a half centimeters and the smallest one's about two and a half centimeters. And they are so close together. So you get these super fine dies. Now you could leave some together. You could leave them all together. You could emboss this into a background with a tan embossing mat in your embossing machine uh, or your die cutting machine. Lots of options. That is, wow, that is so it's they are way finer than i was expecting all righty <clears throat> engraved flowers wow this is pretty it's a big six by eight. Oh, it's so pretty we've got some sentiments hello sweet friend uh best wishes fabulous yes you are i like that life is beautiful with friends like you and i just adore you oh there is a gorgeous suggestion illustration on the back there so you can color these they really do have that engraved etched kind of look to them what a stunning set with a lot of options oh nice one alter new i want i want that for myself you guys get first gifts so if you're looking for alter new on my website it's easy to find um there's a, hot, a quick link on the home page at dawnlewis.com.au and i'm just so excited to be bringing these into australia Wow. Oh, I accidentally ordered two of those. Whoops. Oh, well, I'm taking everything out, putting it on my desk. I can't help it. And I did find another ink pad down the bottom. Let's look at the ink kit. Oh, I forgot I'd ordered that. It's a blue collection. It's called Cool Summer Night. What's a cool summer night? I live in Australia. We don't have those. 
well, we don't wear our sleep anyway. Desert night. Oh, it's the night you leave the air conditioning on. That's a cool summer night. Desert night, dusk, ocean waves, and sea glass is the names of these. So if you want to stamp a layer up to your blues, we've got that covered too. Oh, now I've got a big stack on my desk. I'm very excited. <clears throat> I will, I'll try to be good. I'll try really hard. Okay. Stencils. Alter new stencils are beautiful. They're nice and big. Six by six. This one is called Warp Speed. So all my people, you know uh, that you can use this when you place a hero in the center. Something in the middle to really make it stand out and give it that oh, kind of thing going there. Anything out of space. Here's your warp speed. Here is your light speed. Uh, and it's a great sunburst thing to really hero whether it's an image or a sentiment that you put in the middle. I think it's gorgeous. It's called warp speed stencil. Ooh, this is a creative edges die. It's called notebook. And oh, I've got two of these. I've got two of the warp speed stencils as well. So here's the, the die. So it creates an edge and it's this notebook edge. So you've got a faux stitching line and then it cuts the hole so it looks like you've torn something out of a notebook I kid you not I thought this was a really clever die it would add it would just help you with you know adding a little extra interest to a layer on a card if you're layering something up and you could rough up the edges around the little circles and so on I think that's really cool all right what have we got here oh it's layering oh garden hydrangeas this was so beautiful I couldn't I could not not get this it's so pretty and I love hydrangeas I love them in pink I love them in blues I love them in purple they're just so pretty hydrangeas I've never had any luck growing them but I do admire them in other people's gardens so this one is a layering set you've got um all your blooms or your sections that you layer up there is a guide and that's sort of how it works you've got a leaf and our sentiments say for you love thanks with so with love or with thanks and hello and they're nice bold brush kind of sentiments so that one is garden hydrangeas what's this one floral fantasy that reminds me of the um eyeshadow in strictly ballroom when um the mum is doing fran's eyeshadow and this one's floral fantasy and it's 14.99 no this stamp set is floral fantasy and um, it's in the shop. Wow, this is lovely. This is roses. I have a rose garden. It's full of weeds, but I love roses. They peek out the top sometimes. These roses look easy to color because you're just stamping up the layers. So pretty. And we've got an illustration on the back to show you how they look. I think they look amazing. And there's a great guide here to show you where each layer goes. So that's where these come in handy. Okay, maybe not blue, maybe oh, like maybe peachy orangey roses. They look so nice. So that one's floral fantasy. Aha! Crafty Friends. So this is Crafty Friends, packed full of sentiments. If you have a lot of crafty friends and you wanted to make cards to send to them, or just you know, put stuff in your planner or you know, exciting days where you get to go see your crafty friends. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous set. So many sentiments. I can't even go. If I go through and read it, there's going to be like a 45-minute video. But my soul is fed with stamps and inks. Crafty friends are the best friends. Jennifer McGuire uses this one. I had to order it in. If nobody else gets it, I'm totally keeping it. But like I said, you guys get first tips. <laughs> I'm going to link to every single product below. So if you're looking for something quickly, you can just click on it. And if it's out of stock, um, I'll link to my pre-order form so you can order it in. This one is called Signature Words. I like this. It's petite. It's fine. And I like I like a good bold word, but I really like a petite, very detailed word. The words in here include hello, thanks, and congrats. And I think they're fantastic because they are kind of the cards that we send most of all when we're congratulating someone or thinking of somebody and saying thank you for something that someone's done for us. So we've got these three gorgeous dies in here called signature words i'm gonna hold that one till last i think because that's just it's so cool all right we're getting there we're getting through it teachers rule for us here in australia school has finished whether you're in public or private school school has finished but you can get ahead for next year what a great way to start the year on a good foot with your kid's teacher especially if you think your kid might 
might push the envelope a little in class. I don't know, maybe other people's kids don't do that, but mine certainly has done. So we've got this cute little apple, the best teachers teach from the heart, not from the book. Lots of beautiful sentiments, they've made great sentiment strips and then these big hero words. Look at that apple, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. So that's a beautiful teacher kit. <clears throat> I tell you, they're getting good with these teacher things. Half tone. Now, Alterney has a range of these half tone things. I really like it. So I went for half tone happy. So it's got this big word, happy. You get the outline. So you could just color that or just stamp it on whatever. But then there's this filler. That is a gradient. I kid you not. When you stamp it, it's darker at the bottom and lighter at the top just because of the way it picks up the ink. I'm, I'm mega impressed with this. Excellent things like wishing you a happy anniversary, wedding, birthday, holidays. So it's going to work all year round for a bunch of different things. And you don't have to put it with great big images. You could complement this with some small florals. Ooh, there's one that we saw before like the... Um, Life is awesome. That would be a really good one. It's got smaller flowers in it layering up. So that is half tone happy. Very nice. This one is blissful bud. Now, if you're thinking you might want to try out this layered stamping thing, but you don't want to commit to a six by eight set, and trust me, I completely understand that. This one's called blissful bud, and you've got it's quite a simple. It's a nice, I think it's a nice starter layering kit. And look on the back. Look at that beautiful flower. Isn't that beautiful? So we've got a layering guide down here. You get the flower. You get the leaf. You get the stem. Today's the day to celebrate. Happy birthday and a warm hello to my best bud. Ah, oh, what a great set. You could stamp it more than once. Whoa. Okay. I ordered a set called Mega Greetings 2. And I thought it will have big words in it. Oh my God. These words are huge. Like, look at them next to my head. That is enormous. I mean, not my head. I mean, yes, my head is big. So that happy is 13 and a half centimetres wide, which is like five and a quarter inches wide. And the U is like four inches, 10 centimetres. Wow. Wow, they were not kidding. Look at that. Look, it's got an example in the back. Sending happy mail. Ah! So it's got mail, birthday, sending, wishes, thoughts, anniversary, amaze me, holidays, I miss, are loved, thank, I adore, thinking of, can do it, rock just for you. These all go with happy and you and you can build amazing sentiments. Ah, I love this. I think this is awesome. It's so big. Okay, let's go to the complete opposite end of the spectrum. This is the smallest set that I bought. It's called Wish Big. And ironically, it's small. <laughs> it's a really cute. It's just one single stamp that says Wish Big. And that's great for birthdays. I love it. I love the combo of the scripty font and the very plain script. So that's a little one. That would be a good price point, that one. This one is called Sincere Greetings. It's a six by four stamp set all sentiments it's not the years in your life that counts but rather the life in your year so it's got ones that will work inside a card as well as ones for outside thank you happy birthday hello thinking of you don't give up miss you so and then there are all these corresponding ones and you can check that out over on the website or you could pause the video now and uh have a little read so that's a really cool one. Oh, here's another big background this is another one that jennifer mcguire has used it's called dainty swiss dots actually one of my most used embossing folders is a swiss dot i love a dotted background and it's petite this one you get a big six by six and and the way it's laid out you can actually turn and offset the dots so i don't know if you can see it really well here but you can actually combine you can stamp with one color turn it stamp with another color and you get this two tone dot background i kid you not cool and then you've got sentiments in a very nice plain font congratulations thinking of you best wishes thanks just for you you're awesome hello be yourself with an exclamation point so you can drive the point home what a nice set oh, i like that one I want that one too all right <clears throat> fine frames cover die so we looked at the fine frame circle and this is another one that jennifer mcguire uses and i can see why it cuts an abundance of rectangular frames so we've got this gorgeous rectangular frame and i'm going to get it close 
I hope it's focusing there. So you can actually pop out the very, very fine little frames. You could stack them so it's kind of like finer, thicker, finer, thicker, finer, thicker. Uh, you could do the whole thing. You can emboss it into a background with a tan embossing mat. That is very cool. And it measures, say, 14 centimeters by almost 11 centimeters, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. That's the biggest one. So that's kind of cool. And one of those is going out to someone in a pre-order. Right, what have we got here? Kind Confetti. It's a six by eight stamp set. I really liked this. Look at all this sparkle. Now I enjoy glitter from a distance. I do not want it in my house and I do not want it on my desk. You could stamp glitter. So if you stamped that with a shiny embossing powder, it's like fake glitter. Look at that on the back. An example of how you can offset it and stamp it. So there's a big square of confetti glitter. There's this one that's kind of like the falling. And then there's this one which is kind of centered and scattered out. Do what makes you sparkle. Hope your birthday sparkles. Sparkle with all your heart. Every birthday needs confetti. To throw kindness around like confetti. Smile, sparkle, shine. Celebrate, glitter. Every day I'm sparkling. <laughs> I like that. Everything is better with glitter. So that's a fun set. It would make great backgrounds, I think. Okay, what else have I got? Oh, it's the last one. Oh, oh I've got one more thing to show you after this. So this is called Crafty Life. I got two of these in. Crafty Life is another one um, that will go with the Crafty Friends. You've got, and I've got my second one here so I can read it. I love ink, paper, stamps, and you. Oh, I love you more than stamps, and that's a lot. So you've got these great sentiments that are all craft related, especially stamping related, and I love them. Some of them would be great on envelopes, some would be great on cards inside, outside, on the back, the whole nine yards. Craft Life. I think that sums it up. I live a craft life. All right, I have one more thing to show you, and I accidentally ordered two, so... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I see what's happening here. I ordered one of the 30... I think it's 36? 36, 36 half-pan watercolour Altenew sets. <gasps> so pretty. I can hear them. Can you hear them? Now, here's a little close-up on the back. Now, sometimes the pan, that's the case, um, the lid will snap off. It's not a broken snap. It can be snapped back in. It seems to be a functional thing. But for a limited time, because of this snap issue, and some people struggle to snap them back together, Altenew is providing a spare pan case to go with it just in case. How awesome are they? Seriously, the spare case. Now, the case is really cool. You can mix on the lid. So when someone orders this, they also get this, the spare pan case. So I'm going to have to make sure. I'm going to bag them together and make sure they both go out together. So that is everything that Altenew had for me today. My first Altenew order. Remember, if you're looking for Altenew and a bunch of other brands here in Australia, you can find them at dawnlewis.com.au. I offer a pre-order service. I'll link to that below. So if you would like me to order something in for you and it's available with the supplier, if I can get it, I will get it. I'm really happy to do that. So I hope you guys have a very crafty day. Thanks for joining me. Now I will see you next time. Bye for now.